What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. I have a very, very special review for you today. These are custom football boots. So for those of you who haven't heard about the company called Imotana, or Imotana, excuse me if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, they are a company out of Germany who were a Kickstarter. And I got introduced to them by one of the viewers of this channel, so you know who you are, thank you so much. And basically they said, hey, you should review this Imotana, Imotana boot and see how it fits. And so I went on the website and it takes a whole process of 3D viewing your foot, making a 3D scan, and then you send it into them. You obviously pay for the football boots and then you get them a couple weeks later. And I got the normal, basically all black colorway that they call Dark Sky, I believe. And their boot right now, the only boot that they make is called the Invader 1. 1.0, but it comes in a couple different colors and uh, you can get it all black like the basic one or you can completely customize it. So you can go high top, low top, uh, with laces, without laces. It's actually a really cool process and then they, do, they don't have sizing because they size the boots to your, uh, to your foot, which is pretty fantastic. So we're going to get into the unboxing. Of course I'll get it on feet. And because these are custom shoes and I'm not going to get rid of them afterwards, I will do a full play test. This is going to be a little bit more of an in-depth review about what these boots are, what the concept is, and bringing customization of football boots to the mass market, which I think this is a super cool idea. But obviously, we have to see how they fit, first of all. And then, of course, what the sizing is like. Do they actually fit true to size? Do they, you know, do you, are they correct with the 3D scans, etc.? So, they come in a box like this. So this was shipped all the way from Germany. So it's got all of my like shipping details, which I've blacked out. So no problem. So we'll jump into the on the unboxing portion. So I'll show you the box here. So it's a very simple looking box. It's got the Imotana. I'm just going to say Imotana from now on. I apologize if that's the wrong pronunciation, Imotana. And you've got Imotana.com on the one side, and then this, and it says Imotana football boots, and then it has the US, UK, Euro centimeter sizing, and it says no sizes needed, your order, you ordered the perfect fit, which I think is a very, there you go. It's a very cool little, uh, little thing for them, which I think is awesome. So you guys can follow them on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all that stuff. So as you open the box, this is the actual box itself. So the box it ships in is the box you get. So there's no like extra box inside and we'll see what these look like. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there are the boots. They've got kind of a sandpaper finish almost, kind of a sandpapery finish on the sole plate. We'll talk about a couple of the specs when I get them out of the box, but I wanna make sure you guys get a good view of uh, these boots first. Very, very cool looking. Very simple. I opted for the laced version in the low top just because that's what I prefer in my normal boots. Obviously, other than the Hypervenom 3s, which I wear most of the time. So there you go. That's the Imotana boots. They've got the logoing on the back, or I guess it would be this way. There you go. It's a nice silo. It's a very simple silo. So we'll get this out of the box and then Let's see, what else do they come with? So this is a super cool, it says play as you are, I'm Otana on those like red and black right here. So that's really cool. And then it's got the logo with the soccer field uh, football pitch. And then it's got an extra pair of insoles, which I think are awesome. We'll talk a little bit more about what these are, if I can actually figure out what they, these are. I'm not actually sure. So that is the box. And then, ooh, you get a uh, 25 euro friend card. So. For anybody looking for $25 off on my sauna, hit me up. Let me know. All right. Here we go. Okay. Get the box out of the way. Wipe the table off a little bit. Okay. So here we go. So I will throw these there so you guys can look at those. Okay, so here we are. So here are the Imotana Invader 1.0s. These are in the dark sky colorway. Every single part of this boot is customizable. So when I say they're custom boots, I literally mean what are your normal, like they, you go through the whole process of what are the current boots you're wearing? What size are they? Do they fit you correctly? What are the hot spots? And you can pick 
whether you want a slim fitted boot, a medium fit boot, or a wide fitted boot. I opted for the roughly the US 9-ish and then whatever that custom fit is and then the wide variation because I know my feet are pretty wide. My hope is that the wide fitted boots uh, aren't too wide and if they are then I might opt for something like a medium fit boot. Um, but these are a pretty lightweight pair of boots. There's nothing on the inside but the uh, the boot is supposed to be 200 grams and it is pretty light. It definitely looks like a Predator Freak 0.1 low to me, especially with this texturing on the forefoot. It is, uh, it's raised probably about half a millimeter or something. It's really, really small. See how close I can get, there you go, uh, to the camera. And it is pretty small. So I don't imagine there's a ton of extra grip that you're gonna get from a boot like this. However, what I can say by getting it in hand for the first time, the upper is crazy soft. Like there is almost no structure to this at all. At least that's not, that's what it feels like. Like just no structure. Um, so that's pretty wild. So I'm, I am curious how the lateral fit is. I imagine they'll break in really well, but I don't know how uh, moving forward the fit's gonna be. But again, these are all questions that we're gonna answer hopefully in this video as I get a chance to try them out as well. Um, what else about this boot? So you've got the cage for fit and you've also got it for grip elements on the front and very simple logo here, logo embroidered into the tongue and then the Imotana, Imotana logo up the back heel area. Again, these really do look like a Predator Freak 0.1 low. It's a split sole construction, so you've got the three studs on the lateral side, three studs on the medial side, the one stud in the middle, and then four. They're all diamond, so it's the same. It's like they put two of the, uh, the logo basically together, and you've got the, uh, the diamond sole plate, which is kind of cool. It's split between two, and then you've got the seam running here, which uh, it's got a decent bit of structure to it and flex to it, so that's really promising. Um, laces are pretty standard, like very standard looking laces, very standard uh, look to them. The one thing that I am a little bit wary of is the quality of this collar. It's, it's not as, uh, excuse this word, I know this is sort of a buzzword for people, but it's not as mm, like erect as it usually is on Nike boots or Adidas boots where it's like, this is really solid, it's thicker. Even if it is this thin, it's very, very uh, uh, structured, which I think is this isn't. It's very, it seems very floppy. Maybe that's just a part. It'll wrap your foot perfectly well. Um, but I do think it is. It definitely looks a little bit cheaper than I think some of the other knit boots do, just in that one area. But other than that, I think as far as first impressions go, these are really, really cool. I think there's a couple things that I have questions about as far as durability goes. So the seam between the sole plate and the upper is always a question, especially with boots that don't, that aren't tried and tested or tried and true and tested on the, the market. I don't know if they have any professional players who are actually wearing this boot. I think it's more given to uh, normal consumers, amateur footballers, low level pros, uh, semi-professional players who buy their own boots but want a custom fit. Uh, these are definitely a boot that you could think about getting. But again, stay tuned for later in the video when I actually put these on feet and we'll kind of go over what the, what this, what type of person this appeals to. Um, if you are somebody who wants 100% customization, sole plate color, sole plate stud pattern, so you can go FG, <coughs> excuse me, SG <coughs> or AG. I don't know if they have AG actually. That's, that's, uh, I'm not sure on that one but they definitely have SG and, and FG. So you'll be covered on grass and you'll be covered on uh, firm ground as well. So that's super cool. And then of course you can customize the whole colors. There's like graphics you can put in the upper here and you can take the logo out and do something else. It is, uh, it's, it's actually a really cool concept and I wish some of the bigger brands would do something like this because it is, yeah. I mean, who, who wouldn't want custom football boots? When we see pros play, De Bruyne, Neymar, Messi, uh, Ronaldo, I mean, all of them have their own custom pair of football boots and they get it custom fit to their foot, they get it custom uh, 
sometimes custom colors even, depending on who they are. And, uh, and, and to have something like this that's not, you know, $2,000 to go and like to Italy and actually get your foot molded and all that stuff, to have something like this that's a consumer product at 200 and I think it's 210 euros or 220 euros is a pretty sweet deal. I think that's, that's awesome. So good on you, Amatana. Again, nothing of, none of what I'm saying actually matters if these fit really poorly or they don't perform very well. Uh, obviously, it's a work in progress. You have to make the football boots and you have to iterate on them. Maybe the Invader 2.0 or 3.0 becomes a really popular model amongst kids. Um, they are based in Germany, so that is something you have to think about shipping times and shipping costs and all that stuff. But even just like feeling this boot, the upper is so crazy thin. It almost feels like a uh, Hypervenom 1. And I know people are going to freak out when I say that, but it really is like, that is bananas how soft that is. Like nothing, I mean, that's very little pressure. And it just feels like, oof. You get a little bit more structure here in the midfoot, but this toe box is like crazy, crazy, crazy soft. So... Cool concept. Let's get into the on feet portion of the video because I think it'll be much easier for me to talk about what I think about these boots. I've given you all the details that I know from the website other than um, the fit. So it, let's kind of see if these custom fitting football boots actually feel like custom fit football boots. All right, fam. So I am here in my living room as always per all of the boot reviews. And I've got a pair of my favorite grip socks without the grip, but I did bring some with me. So you guys can see, these are the Zypher Grip Socks. These ones are brand new. I have yet to break them in. They are absolutely fantastic. I'm wearing the socks without the grip. They're the same technology. If you want 10% off, Zypher.com, something, something, slash, be awesome. Discount code, be awesome, 10%. Link down below. Okay, so here we go. I'm Otana, Imotana Boots. We're going to get these straight on because I'm very interested to see actually how these fit on feet. Super, super easy to slide my foot in here. And then I'm gonna go, oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, custom fit, that'll do it for you. Holy moly. Okay, let me get this other one on. There you go, so you can see foot slides right in. And these are, that's my toe big toe right there and right there. I'll get these completely tied up. First impressions are, holy moly, these are comfortable. And I'm tying these like match tight. Like these are, these are very, very tight on my feet. Uh, at least the laces are, the boots are not. Point of information. One thing that I do wish right off the bat is that they did have a deeper lacing hole so that you could really tie this part forward. Um, but there you go. That's what they look like on feet. They are super comfortable, super comfortable. Wow. I'm genuinely impressed. There you go. Logo on the back. And they've got really nice height right here. So it gums, this is my ankle bone right there. So the material just kind of wraps right over the middle of my ankle bone. It doesn't go above my ankle, it just is like right on there. So that's what they look like kind of on a full person. Obviously I'm not wearing soccer shorts or anything. These are just like running shorts. But wow, these are comfortable. <laughs> like I don't, think, I don't think I can convey to you how, like my feet slide right in and there is no pressure points. These are super, they fit like they were built for me, which I guess is the concept, and that's really cool. Sorry, get the mic sorted out. There we go. Okay, so things to think about. They're definitely wide enough, which I love. Slide my foot in and right away, no pressure points on the outside. Um, the upper is super, super soft. You can see like wiggling my toes is no problem but they also have a pretty decent amount of structure on the outside, like on this lateral side right here, which I think is super, super great. Um, the sole plate so far feels pretty good. I don't think it's 
extra resp like there's nothing about it that's extra responsive, but there's also nothing about it. I, I would say it's much less or much more structured than something like a Nike Premier or a, it's probably a little bit more structured than a New Balance 442, which is really good already. I love that boot. Um, but these are a little bit more structured than that, but definitely not as structured as, or definitely not as structured as a uh, X Ghosted with the carbon fiber sole plate. Like they don't feel that responsive, but they do feel really good. With the diamond studs, you're gonna get a lot of lateral stability. And I'm sure that the touch on the ball is gonna be super nice, very barefoot feeling. If I go all the way kind of into a side lunge, that's when I get that hole that I always tell you guys about right on the outside where my ankle is. I've got like a really big divot right there and I'll see if I can get it. So right there, and there's really not that much room. I mean, I can stick a finger right there, but it's not as big of, and that's what I say, if there was a lacing hole back here, that would be amazing because then it would pull the material up and towards that front. But I mean, wow. Invader 1.0 from Imatana, custom fit football boots. There's no sizing on the box, so I can't even tell you what size these are. These might be like an 8.75 or an 8.9 or an 8.8 .8 or something like that based on my 3D model on my phone. And I'll show you that to you guys on the, like on screen and stuff. I'll, I'll see if I can get some screen recordings of that. This is a really cool concept and I'm very, very excited to see how these perform in a training session and also how they feel when you put them really to the test in sprints and cutting and on the ball and pings and how they feel as a boot in general. Because when you think about startup companies, they don't, they don't have the 20 years of experience that a company like Nike, Adidas, or Puma has, right? So they, they don't have access to maybe the craziest quality materials or the technology or the, the labs, the Nike lab type thing. So they're starting sort of from scratch. Uh, at least that's the impression that I get. Obviously they were Kickstarter, um, but the, the concept of a football boot that is for the mass population, but is a custom fit boot is really freaking cool. I think that's so cool. Um, so a couple other details about the upper that I'm just noticing. Um, there is a little bit, as I push down here, There's you get a little bit of extra material there, but it's nothing close to like a Phantom GT or something. As you can see, the boots are really, really wide, especially through here. And that's because I got the wide fitted variation, so that makes sense. Um, there's not really any extra room. They really do fit super snug. I'm trying to find like points. So right here, maybe a little bit of extra looseness, um, but I don't notice that because my ankle is locked in. So it kind of allows my ankle to move a little bit, but yeah, there is a little space. Um, I am definitely noticing. So right here where I said earlier in the video, this was kind of floppy, like that's pretty that, I don't know, like that's pretty cheap in my opinion. Uh, do I think it's gonna affect the performance and do I think I could literally like rip this off and it would make that much of a difference? Not really, um, but again, it's just something if you're gonna appeal to the mass market and if you're gonna charge 220 bucks, 220 euro, so it's a little bit more expensive. Um, that is something that I would say like point of improvement. But again, if this is the first football boot this company has made and um, by the way, Imatana, Imatana did not send me these boots like for free. I paid for them. So they don't have any say on what happens in this video. They don't have any say. This is like an honest review. Um, I, that's one thing that I would say if you're going to charge premium pricing for a boot like this, even though it's custom, I understand that custom fit is a little bit more challenging. And most likely what the, this boot is, is they've got say for a size, roughly a size nine US, they've got three different silos that are the thin variation, the middle variation and the wide variation. And then they've got, they're able to sort of easily come up with that material and it just changes a little bit because if you think about, uh, let's say a Phantom, or no, let's say a Tiempo Legend 9 Elite because that's a very standard looking shoe. Tiempo Legend 9 Elites, the, the sizing is based on what the, the average size is, right? So a nine US that I fit into is 
just wide enough to fit me, but anything wider than me, the Tiempo actually, the new Tiempo actually might not be the best option. You might be better off with a different boot, right? So if you think about sizing, the bigger companies are taking the, the sizing and saying, okay, it's like, it's not a custom fit because it's just a US nine or a US nine and a half, right? The shape is the same. New Balance is a step above that, I would say, especially when they offer the wide fit variations because they're offering, not only are they offering a little bit of difference, you know, obviously sizing differences in the length of the boot, but they're also offering differences in the width of the boot. And that's what Imatana did, right? So Imatana has, uh, theoretically, like, you, you, it's not, you don't pick a size because they base it off your 3D model, but most likely it's something like they have access to quarter sizes or they've got access to half sizes or even some even uh, eighth of a sizes or something like that where they can build boots that are that are in between sizes and then they have the flexibility as well of those three different categories of width so you get tons of extra customizability obviously the I, I guarantee that would be crazy to me if these boots were they took a 3d model of my foot literally got it molded and they've got it sitting on a shelf somewhere with like NC on it or Noah Cavanaugh on it, right? That's, that would be crazy, right? That no Kickstarter would be able to handle that kind of thing. So that's my guess as to how this works. I don't really, I'd love to come to Germany and actually figure out like, hey, how does this whole system work? How do you do this? How do you offer this product? Um, at a $220 price point as opposed to like a thousand dollar price point where most of like the custom fit Nike shoes are. And uh, yeah, that's what I would say for these. Again, as this is sort of a reach out to Imatana, but also a sort of a, um, a shout to most football boot manufacturers, like they need to look top end. And I think most of this boot looks really premium. It's just that little fly, uh, the knit material around the ankle that just is a little, it's, it's not quite as premium looking as I would want like my own custom fit pair of football boots. But these are really, really cool and holy hell they are comfortable. I, we've been sitting here for about 10 minutes talking and I have zero hot spots. And with almost every other football boot, I've got hot spots just sitting in the boots like this. So especially with my wide feet. So without further ado, let's hop into the on-field portion where I'll do some proper training drills. I'll get some really good cuts in. I'll get some footwork, some shooting, long balls crossing, kind of cover the whole uh, spectrum of things that you would do with a football boot in a training or in a game without actually doing a session in these quite yet. I'm not, I'm not quite comfortable with that as, as so far, um, but I do want to get a really good feel for how these are to train with, and then we'll get some final verdict at the end and kind of figure out, hey, is this something that you guys are interested in? Uh, if you are, maybe I can get a discount code for people. Um, if that's something that we get overwhelming interest in, hit me in the comments below. If you're already liking this video, hit that like button. Let's hop into the on-field, on-ball, game realistic portion of the video. All right, fam, welcome to the local pitch. Uh, I'm going to test out the Invader 1.0. Very excited about these on pitch. We're just gonna get them on feet really quick and then start to get some touches on the ball. First impressions again, as I get onto the turf as opposed to on the carpet in my living room is very much, uh, the, the stud pattern is actually really nice. It's pretty neutral. Um, the shoes fit really snug. They have a really nice stretch and really mold to your foot, which is awesome. And I think that's something that will uh, be really enjoyable for anybody who does purchase a pair. As I mentioned before, when I was inside, one of the things that I do really wish they would do is put another lacing hole a little bit deeper into the ankle area. So it would kind of pull that material back here in the ankle forward a little bit. Um, but again, this is their first attempt at a custom pair of football boots. And I'm very excited to see how these perform. Of course, I'll be doing a little bit of testing with a ladder. So some agility stuff. And then of course, we'll get into a little bit more ball work as well. But first impressions, juggling a ball, as I mentioned before, uh, yeah, very, very thin upper, super nice feel on the ball. You don't really get any distractions. That cage and sort of spiderweb looking material on the front that sticks out just a tiny bit doesn't really affect the way that uh, you can manipulate the ball at all. It's actually got a really simple upper 
it feels a little bit similar to, I'd say, Hypervenom 1 and Magista Obra in the sense of there is texturing on the upper, but it doesn't really affect the way that you can spin the ball or manipulate the ball at all when you're dribbling, um, especially when you're running anything, anything special about these boots as far as lift off with the sole plate, as I mentioned before. The, the sole plate's pretty basic for the most part. It is two pieces, so you're not gonna get the same snapback that you get on something like a Carbotex insole from an X-Speedflow or X-Ghosted, uh, but it's also not gonna be as, as non-supportive as something like a Nike Premier, and that's something to keep in mind. If you do really like that fully malleable sole plate like a Nike Premier, even something like a New Balance 442, those tend to have really, really uh, malleable sole plates where no matter what direction I turn, my foot basically has full freedom because there's no structure or not that much structure on the sole plate of those boots. Whereas with these ones, there's definitely a little bit of structure. You definitely feel a little bit of snapback, but it's not as pronounced as something, again, like that Carbotex insole. But as far as lateral stability goes, I definitely don't feel as if it's, uh, it's not as bad as something with flywire cables or uh, something with a little bit more structure to the outside, but I think breaking them in a little bit and doing some more drills here on the pitch is gonna be a little bit better to test those things. Maybe doing a little bit of ladder work, which you'll see in some of the B-roll as well. Um, but overall, because these fit my feet so well, I think some of those other things like lateral stability and maybe more structure to the upper, I can kind of look in the other direction just because they are so comfortable straight out of the box. They're a boot that I could easily play a match in right away. Definitely a training session, no doubt. And as I'm out on the pitch, I'll probably get a short session here um, in them as well because I do think they are really nice. Good feel underfoot with the ball when you're manipulating it this way, doing rollovers, all sorts of like V cuts and stuff. That's great. Um, the feel on the inside and the outside of the boots and the top of the boots are fantastic because of how thin that upper is. And the lockdown in the heel is actually really impressive given how simple it is. As I mentioned before in the on-feet portion in my house, uh, that little, those little piece of knit material that's right around the ankle, I don't really notice it that much and maybe that's a good thing. But again, to the eye, it doesn't look as premium as something from Nike or Adidas the, or even the Puma Future. That little knit material around the ankle area definitely looks a lot more premium than this. So that's just something to think about if you are interested in aesthetics. You can always get it in a different color too, so that might help. Especially when you're customizing these boots, you can get whatever color you want and uh, you can get different patterns on the upper and stuff as well. So that's something to think about. But that's it for my review of these Amatana custom boots. I am super impressed with these as far as a first edition of a company that comes out uh, that's not part of the, the bigger brands, even including Mizuno or New Balance. Um, this is a really good shot at a pair of boots and it's really cool idea to get that custom fit for your feet. I think they did a fantastic job with that custom feel and I'm definitely looking forward to training in these and getting a feel for these a little bit more moving forward. If you enjoyed that review, hit the like button. If you are interested in the Imotana uh, boots, I will leave the link down below. Again, you can get 10% off on the grip socks that I use that I have on here. Um, they are the Zypher grip socks, so definitely go check those out. Link will be down below as well. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.